Hey guys, hello everyone. This is Narul Huda and I am a verified educator at an online learning platform that is an academy. You can access my videos over there as well. So if you are preparing for CSI net, gate or IIT jam, any of these exams, you can access my videos over there as well. These are going to be very helpful in your preparation, right? So uh, to in order to access my videos, what you have to do, you have to download this an academy learning app. And you can search for my name that is Nuruluda or you can go directly to my profile from the link given in the description. That's all for this. Let's continue with the video. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So very good morning to all of you. Now, now what I have decided is I'll just give you a quick answers of part A. Although I know that many of the YouTube channels have uploaded answers but uh, yet it's my duty, it's my responsibility that what I think the answers would be I am going to do tell you guys and uh, remember there were a few trick questions so uh, like many of uh, the videos are not that much up to those so what I have done I will just give you a quick uh, like solution of those questions and uh, I'll tell you the correct answers right so starting with this one so those which I didn't do uh, which I didn't did till now I will leave them for right now but uh, you will get around 16 17 questions answers in this particular video right so this first one, uh, like this one question over here, it says that marks out of 30 of students in examinations are 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, A and B, okay, where A is greater than 0 and is a multiple of 4. So let's take A to be the, like any number which is multiple of uh, 4, okay, and it's greater than 0. So between 0 and 30, it could be either, uh, it, it could be either 4 or it could be either, like if minimum number we take, so we can take 4 and if maximum we are taking so we can take it as 8 28 as well now it says that the uh, b is a prime number so b could be the smallest prime, prime number is your uh, 2 and uh, the highest prime number in this series between uh, 0 to 30 is 29 okay now they are asking what is the maximum possible value of difference between the maximum and minimum marks so if this is the minimum marks and this is the maximum marks and if you take the difference we will get 25 uh, right and if you if you take this as the minimum marks and this as the maximum marks and if you take the difference you are going to get 26 so what i feel is 26 will be the correct answer for this particular question okay now let's talk about this one it says uh, person a and b are started walking opposite direction from a point a travels fast uh, twice as fast as b the speed at which b travels uh, is one kilometer per hour if a travels two kilometer turns back and start walking towards b at what distance from starting point will a cross b now this question also is a easy question is a usual kind of question which are asked in csi net exam you all are aware of it right that uh, they ask usually about uh, these speed and time questions and in my special class i have already discussed these kind of questions like like the last special class where i discussed about part a so this kind of question was easy to attempt and the correct answer is option 4 i will upload the uh, complete answer for this particular question on my youtube uh, on my unacademy channel okay unacademy profile okay so moving forward to the next one it says that a person wanted to uh, travel from charbagh to alambagh with an average speed of 60 km per hour um, by car the distance between charbagh and alambagh is uh, 2 km and due to heavy traffic he could travel at 30 km per hour for the first kilometer of his journey what should he travel at uh, what should his speed for the remaining journey to achieve his average speed of 60 km per hour now this question i tried to solve it out if you do it in a usual way you will get end up getting wrong answer what i felt okay so according to me the correct answer for this one uh, the correct answer wait let's look on the options first yeah so what i felt that for this question this option that cannot be achieved with his target with any finite speed could be the correct answer i'm not that, uh, that much sure so i can leave this question for now but uh, according to my calculation what i have done it should be option number one okay if you have any suggestion any doubt regarding this you can post it in the comment section you are totally free for that and i will really appreciate that okay now uh, talking about this fifth one uh, it says over here yeah so this fifth one it says that the average rainfall over a given place during three years period 2003 to, to 2005 was 65 and uh, during the third three year period 2002 to 2004 was average rainfall was 63 centimeter the actual rainfall fall uh, during 2005 uh, was uh, 60 centimeter now what they are asking is the rainfall in 
2002 so i calculated it out it's quite of a like uh, average kind of question so if you if you put all these values and if you solve it it was not that difficult to solve this question so the correct answer is option number 3 that is 54 so that's what i got right so the next one is kind of a reasoning kind of question it says in a four consecutive days four pilots flew flight each of each on a other day mr a was scheduled to work on monday so let's write it like this so monday tuesday wednesday and thursday these are the four days so on monday mr a was allowed to work um, then he traded with mr b who was originally scheduled to work on wednesday so wednesday was for mr b mr c traded with d who was originally uh, scheduled to work on thursday so mr c was scheduled to work on thursday and she traded with um, wait mr c traded with mr d who originally scheduled to work on thursday so thursday mr d was scheduled but mr c traded with it so that means mr c used to work on tuesday okay now what they are asking that after all the switching was done who worked on tuesday so switching was done something like this like a switched to b and c switched to d so that means who worked on tuesday so d so d switched with c because c was working on tuesday and d switched with it so that's why d has to work on tuesday so what i think is the correct answer should be mr d for this now this particular question is a very simple question if you if you all must have done this question in your class 12 right so it's kind of your uh, empirical like uh, your stoichiometrical solved question okay so the correct option for this will be 60% it's pretty simple to be solved like you have to take this equation this carbon plus o2 will give you co2 then balance with the like with the mass relation the uh, like this conservation of mass take like that that this mass of this will react with this to give this mass of this then take percentage of that and you will get the answer okay right so let's talk about this one where it said where it is asked that uh, what fraction of equilateral triangle shown below with three identical sectors of circle is shaded so what i think is correct answer should be option number 1 that 1 minus pi by 2 root 3 what you have to use is area of equilateral triangle okay that will be given by root 3 by 4 side square okay so this is the area of equilateral triangle and area of this sector means this sector if you want to calculate area of one of this sector so this is given by um yeah so it is given by like uh, uh pi by uh, wait so it will be given by see uh, how much angle it will be it will be 60 degree right so it will be uh, like this so it will be uh, theta by 360 means 60 by 360 and pi r square so it will be given like this so 60 by 360 will be like 1 by 6 right so it will be like pi by 6 r square so this if this is r then obviously side will be 2r okay so keep side as 2r and put r is equals to like so uh, this as r and we will solve so you will get option number 1 as correct okay now this one i was not able to solve that how many different vegetables can be found with made with cauliflower tomatoes onion potatoes and carrot i thought this is could this could be done with uh, permutation and combination i'll definitely solve this question and will try to answer you okay so if you guys know about the answer of this ninth question do let me know in the comment section okay so let's talk about this one yeah so this was like i i got this answer like i saw this answer many of the students were posting on facebook and i got to know that uh, like this was done a, a lot many times wrong over there okay so this is what my opinion is this is what i think that this can't be so simple okay you also know this thing that uh, things can't be that much simple that a bottle is op of perfume is open in a person at a distance 10 meter uh, gets the smell after 10 seconds okay so this is what it is given to you now they are asking the time taken for the person 20 meter away to get the smell of uh, is about okay so they are asking about it so if you if you will do like that if you will do thinking taking out the speed and time kind of thing then that is not the correct way of solving this question because you all know that if i open a perfume bottle at this point let's say then the smell will be in a circular the smell will spread in a circular manner right so first it will like let's say a person is standing over here so he will he will smell it like let it is 10 meter so that means in a radius of 10 meter it has a spread out okay now again they are asking about that in how much time will i will a radius of like uh, a person who is standing at this place that is from 20 meter away from here 
that is uh, in a radius of 20 meter will 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 be able to smell it so what i thought is uh, it, su it should be done like this and a detailed solution of this i will definitely post on my own academy profile and why tonight you will get all the answers of part a especially and uh, part c um, all the physical chemistry questions i'm going to solve over there okay part c and part b so correct answer what i think it should be 40 seconds okay for this particular question now the next one it says that mineral contains cubic and spherical cavity the length of uh, side of cube is same as that of diameter of sphere okay so this is what it is given to you so uh, like it means that if a is the length of cube then it is equal to diameter of sphere okay now it says that the cubic cavity is half filled with liquid and the spherical cavity is completely filled with liquid then what is the approximate ratio of the volume of liquid in the cap, uh, cubic cavity to that of a spherical cavity i did it wrong so leave this thing leave this option over here okay the correct option which i did in a hurry bari so that's why i did it wrong over here so what i thought what what i found just now is that uh, it, like the you you will use the formula a cube for uh, calculating the volume of uh, cubic cavity and 4 by 3 pi r cube to calculate the volume of a spherical cavity and you, when you will take ratio of both of them and if you will pay place since it is half full with water so you have to divide it with 2 r as well and at the place of a you have to put 2 r okay so when you will solve it out you will get uh, 3 by pi at the end as the ratio so 3 by pi means 3 by 1.732 so it's about half of it so we can say that it's around 2 ratio 1 okay so the correct option will be option number 1 so this is one of the question which I did wrong uh, okay so yeah so 11th option number 1 is correct okay so this one also is a simple question it says that six unbiased coins six unbiased coins you have five are tossed independently so five are tossed and they all resulted in head so they all gave head okay now the sixth one is non independently tossed so you have to toss the sixth one independently so the probability of getting head is so obviously sixth one is the last one which you have to toss so if you toss a coin how what is the probability of getting head so it's one by two since it is an unbiased coin so you don't have to worry about what other five gave okay and uh, since it is tossed also independently so you don't have to worry about what others gave so correct option what i think it should be option number three for this particular question as well okay now this kind of question which i which i told you all that you should attempt this question at least because this can easily fetch you around two marks okay so correct option for this this is a reasoning kind of question so option three what i thought is the correct option for this okay talking about this one that average age of a b and c whose ages are in integer x y and z respectively is 30 the age of b exactly 5 more than a what is the minimum possible age of z so i solved this question and i got it as 35 so other stage as well so x will be of 25 years old y will be of 30 years old and z will be of 35 years old so this will be the correct answer for all the three so they were asking about z so z will be of 35 years okay so that's how it should be done yeah so talking about wait yeah so if you if you talk about this one that percentage wise distribution of science students in a university and uh, here you will be having two types of graphs one was your pie chart and other was your bar graph and your answer will depend on study of both of these graph okay so i solved it out and i found option number four as the correct option okay now 16th one i didn't did in the exam i didn't did but right now it what i thought it should be 22 i'm not sure about it but if you guys know about the answer of this particular question tell me in the comment section that what will be the answer and the formula as well that what will be the formula involved in this particular question okay what i thought it should be 22 right so yeah so let's talk about the others question as well so let's talk about this question it says that the diagram shows in the dimension of zirconium sorry zircon crystal having square prism so basically you have two things in this particular question you have a square prism kind of shape and uh, as well as you have uh, like a, a cube, cubic cuboidal like of shape okay so you you are having a cuboidal as well over here so yeah so this was a cuboidal shape as well so let me draw it yeah so a cuboidal shape like this and one more shape was there same shape okay so you have to tell the volume of it so i know that most of you like it was difficult to do attempt it because formula for volume of a square pyramid is difficult to know because many of the students don't know and that formula is one by three the volume of a square prism or, or a square pyramid 
is 1 by 3 base into height so this is what the formula is to calculate uh, volume of a square pyramid okay so by that formula and by using the plus you have total volume will be volume of like it will be in two times because we have two square pyramids and plus the volume of this cuboid so volume of cuboid will be length into breadth into height so use length as three breadth as one and height also as one so if you solve it you will get 3.2 okay so that's that is how it should be done so um, I will solve these questions in detail okay so don't worry about that you will get all the detailed solutions on my academy now this is one of the question which I thought it should be solved something differently but uh, for now I will say that since a boy is uh, throwing a ball with the speed of v and a vehicle is approaching with the velocity of capital V so after bouncing from the vehicle the ball will hit the boy with the speed of v plus capital V that's what I think for now okay uh, you guys can give your opinion about this particular question because I'm not that much sure about it. I, I can just say that I am 70% sure that this should be the correct answer. Otherwise, let's say, let's see that what will be the correct answer for this particular question. Now, this was one of the funniest question. When it came in exam, I was laughing and the invigilator was looking at my face that why I was laughing by this. So, like, they 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 put on a whole Bahubali movie over here, right? So, yeah. So it was like Bahubali people were uh, sharing pizza among them. So that's what that was a funny like funny moment of the paper. Okay. So if you if you'll do it correctly, if you'll do that, who is uh, elder than who, then you can easily find. See, I have done over here in rough that who is uh, who is younger than whom. So this is for Bahub and this is for Katappa and this is for Devsena and this is for Bhalla. So what came is that Bhalla is the um, older oldest one okay so that's why he will get extra piece of pizza so yeah that's all for this video i hope you people liked it and if you like this video give it a like if you are new to this channel subscribe this channel and uh, like share with your friends i hope that most of the answers which i did were correct if i am wrong somewhere just correct me out in the comment section if you have any opinion regarding any question you can uh, post that question as well and regarding the other answers like uh, physical chemistry answers basically which, which you guys are expecting from me so those answers i will definitely post tonight right now i'm going to my lab so i just made this video in the morning where as, as soon as i woke up i made this video for, for you guys so after coming from lab i will definitely make the uh, make video for the physical chemistry portion especially of part c part b okay and detailed solution of these questions you will get on my own academy profile i will post it very soon by tonight i will definitely post them so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day and if you guys did it well it very it is very nice if you guys were not able to do it well no problem life doesn't end here you have a lot of opportunity to do a lot of things to do and um, i hope all you, all the best for you guys okay so thank you so much for watching have a great day Bye-bye.